Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you another episode of Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, this Saturday, I figured since I haven't done an educational episode of Galaxies in quite a long time, I would do one of those. Uh, unfortunately, the night I'm recording this, I don't really have a lot of time uh, to make a really in-depth, like, in-game tutorial video or profession guide, though I do plan on getting around to those uh, pretty in the near future. I figured instead I would show you guys how to do something pretty neat, a neat way to customize your game, uh, and that would be a music mod. Now, music mods are a great way, for, if you're a gamer that likes to listen to music, um, a great way to give your game a little personalization, because uh, you can kind of, what you, what you can do is you can actually replace all of the music files that normally play in game uh, with whatever music files you want as long as they're mp3 format which I mean most music files uh, still are I mean you have a couple other what, whatever mp3 format so doing these changes actually don't take place in game so let me show you where they do take place so essentially here's what you're going to want to do it's actually really simple you're going to want to go to your computer uh, and obviously this is on a Windows computer. If you're on Mac or Linux, I, I'm sorry, I have absolutely no experience with this, but it should be the same uh, once you find your Star Wars Galaxies directory. So you're going to go to your C drive, uh, program files, and you're going to go to Star Wars Galaxies. In your Star Wars Galaxies folder, it should look like this. You're looking for, you know, whatever folder has all of the data files, not your uh, SWG EMU folder. Because there's actually, you have Star Wars Galaxies and you have SWG EMU. You want to be in Galaxies. Um, you may not see some of these fo uh, folders up here because these are actually uh, only used if you have mods, I believe. So, well, some of them. So, like, for instance, you probably will not have a music folder. All you have to do is make one. Just right-click in a white space, file, new folder, uh, name music, all lowercase like this and open that up. Now once you have that open, you need to find the music that you want. So whatever music file you want, uh, think about where, uh, actually I guess we can go to this website now. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this website in the description. This is a, a wiki page for the old Star Wars Galaxies wiki that actually has all of the names of all of the different tracks in the game. So here's how, here's how this works. All you do is you take a music file that you want to play in game and you name it the same exact name of an existing music file in the game and the game will actually play your music over the intended music file in the game. So for example, this one right here, this very first one is uh, titled MUS for music underscore title underscore LP which is short for loop. This is the character selection and character creation screen music. So if you take uh, some music file, I'm just going to copy this and paste it and rename it. You have to type it exactly the same way. Muse underscore title underscore LP and again it should be .mp3 because all music files have to be mp3 format then just like that I now changed the music that's going to play when I log into the game and get the character selection uh, that's it that's as easy as this is of course now I replaced it with the same music that I have that plays uh, during uh, the figure and dance songs which are the two Mos Eisley Cantina band songs which these two are the only two songs that I have modded on my client right now and these are both from a year ago when I did my April Fool's video last year some of you may remember this already it was like that a Star Wars techno yeah so that is how I pulled that uh, April Fool's prank off. All you have to do is know what the actual names of the songs are, and that's what these are. So we have um, these two categories, are, or actually these three categories are for JTL. Here's the theme music for each of the planets. So Tatooine, Naboo, Dathomir, Corellia, Endor, uh, the Theed Palace, uh, Lock theme. So you can go in and change uh, any of these. These music theme generics, A, B, and C, they will play usually uh, 
it says upon entering a city that that is true but they also are loading themes uh for some planets like Corellia does have its own loading theme but some of these generic ones will play also i think you might have to you'll have to play around with it like these swamp ambience some of these will play oh it does say rory theme but some of they'll play on a talus from time to time also sunrise and sunset the sh uh for some reason, music Starport A loop is music that played uh, inside the image designer tents, etc., etc. So here's all of the combat music, um, and I want to point this out. It says there is an A, B, and C for each player versus player or NPC or creature in the old combat music. Um, note that player versus player does not mean it only plays while PvPing. The same goes for player versus NPC and player versus creature. I guess that's something that they had intended on implementing but never got around to, but like all of the music is just played, uh, it, it's selected at random. So there's really no rhyme or reason to it, but the way you'll notice each uh, combat music part has four different sections to it. So the loop is what plays while you're actually fighting. So this is what you're going to want to name your combat music. Then you have a victory theme, a defeat theme, and a death theme. Now, in my experience, and it's been a long time since I've done this, but in my experience, just because the game is playing uh, player versus player A loop, when you win, that does not guarantee that you're going to hear player versus player A victory. I believe it pulls another random victory track. Uh, so you might you might hear uh, you know combat a victory instead but so it doesn't list them here but like it says up top there's an a B and C for each of these so there's actually three times as many um, all of these so these the old combat music combat a loop a victory a defeat a death there's an a b and c for these as well so if you just you know make a list of all these and replace all of those with the music that you want you'll still get some of the original star wars music in there unless you also create uh an a or i'm sorry a b and a c copy of each of these but it's cool that there's that many different combat themes uh, so you have these played well on a swoop course. Uh, the Max Rebo songs are in Jabba's Palace. Jungle Ambience for Moenia and Rory. These... You see, you actually don't get music from completing missions from the terminals, I don't think. So some of these may not work all the time. Here's Cantina background music. And played when acquiring a badge and then even below this and I'm I don't really know much about this because I've never played an entertainer but they have you can actually replace the cantina or the music that players play like musicians um, though that's a little bit different you can see there are wave files instead of mp3 files so there's a little bit of a different process for those but I wanted to show you guys this um, it's really fun to mess around with it to put you know, make maybe different theme music for different uh, loading planets. I guess if you, if you're an Imperial player and you really want the Imperial March to play every time you land on Naboo, you can do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do at some point is maybe make a bunch of themed music mods that you guys can download. So if anyone has any suggestions, I know I used to do it back in live. One of my I used to do it for my guildmates. One of my guildmates really wanted a, a Legend of Zelda music mod so I modded that all out to play different Zelda themes every time we loaded onto a new planet or got in combat. Um, I've done a Pirates of the Caribbean mod which actually turned out awesome. You, you have no idea like how motivating the Pirates of the Caribbean music can be every time you load into a planet. It was actually really really cool. Um, and of course I've done different Star Wars mods. Somebody wanted was role-playing like an ex-clone trooper from the Clone Wars So I replaced all the music with uh, with prequel music Which is as poor as some of those prequel movies are the music from them is definitely the greatest thing to come from the prequels but anyway That's it. That's all you need to do um, so 
I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment and I'll answer it as soon as I can. Again, I'm posting the link to this website in the description of the video so you guys can go on here and get the names of the files. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Mobius1 here, and I'll see you next time.